Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Manji the Mountain Man, released in the year 2015. In 1960, a man named Dashrath Manji lives in a village called Galore in India. The village has very few resources and is bordered by a part of Rajir Hills that prevents road access to the nearest town of Wazirganj. Because of said hill, Residents of Galore have to travel 50 kilometers to reach the nearest town that has a hospital and medical facilities. At the beginning of the movie, Dashrath is covered in blood, shouting profanities at the hill. He throws rocks at it, blaming the inanimate object for ruining his life. The rocks create sparks that light the hill on fire, but do little to no harm to its stability. Fellow villagers look at Dashrath, calling him a lunatic. Their words do not bother him as he continues to challenge the hill, swearing to defeat it one day. A flashback of his past shows us that he was born to a Musahar family, which is considered the lowest rank of India's caste system. According to tradition, he was married to a girl named Fagunya Devi when he was only a child. Belonging to a lower caste, Dashrath's father has to work for the head of their village, the Mukia. He is a sadistic leader belonging to an upper caste who views Dashrath and people like him as mere servants. Dashrath's father has borrowed some money from the Mukia, which he cannot pay back because of the interest. The Mukia has a unique way to punish the people who do not pay off their loans. He impales their feet with iron nails. Dashrath's father begs for mercy, but the man makes his teenage son Ruab beat him. In return for the loan, Mukia asks for Dashrath as his servant. His father forces the kid to do as the Mukia says, but wanting to live freely, Dashrath runs away from his village. He goes to a city named Donbad and starts to work at a coal mine even though he is only a kid. After seven years, he buys new clothes and returns to the village. On a stop before the village, he meets a beautiful woman selling toys. She instantly catches his eyes, but the two are strangers so he doesn't expect much. The people of the village are overjoyed because the government has implemented a new law abolishing the Indian caste system. The former lower caste people dance in the streets celebrating that they can finally enter the temples and touch everyone. However, the so-called upper caste men guard the temple's gate to not let the untouchable people enter. The commotion ends when Dashrath accidentally lights a street vendor of fireworks, creating series of blasts. Following that, he gets on a bus to Galore and helps the pretty girl from earlier to board it. They sit on the roof and finally reach his village. The first person he meets is the Mukia, who thinks Dashrath is a foreigner because of the clean clothes. Dashrath hugs Ruab and greets them. When the men find out he is actually the runaway lower caste boy, they beat him to a pulp for touching them. With his torn clothes, Dashrath goes home and meets his father and his childhood friends. His mother has died over the years, but that doesn't seem to bother him. His friends suggest he bring his childhood wife Fagunya home now that he is returned. The next day, Dashrath and his father visit her house and ask her father for permission. But the man refuses to hand his daughter to a runaway like Dashrath. He has found a well-to-do watchman from the city who is willing to marry her. Dashrath starts to walk away, but notices that Fagunya is actually the beautiful girl he met at the bus stop. Following that, he makes it his mission to bring her home no matter what. The two start to date in secret. In a carnival, he takes advantage of the crowd and brings her away from her parents. He promises to make a lot of money and prove to her father that he is worthy of her. The pair enjoys the fair together. Dashrath also buys Fagunya one anklet instead of both because he is short on money. Yet, she is happy with whatever she gets when it comes to him. At night, Dashrath and his friends are working at Mukia's brick factory when suddenly, a man falls into a burning flame. They try to save him, but Mukia's son Ruab stops them, claiming that putting off the flame will ruin the bricks. The poor man dies in the fire while his wife cries helplessly. Dashrath drinks with his other friend, mourning the death. They see a falling star and say that the friend who died has a better life than them. The following day, Dashrath is informed that Fagunya is forcefully being married to a man from the city. He crashes the wedding and threatens to kill the entire village if his wife is married to someone else. Moments later, he elopes with her. Her relatives follow them, but they hide in a ditch and save themselves. 
After that day, the two start to live as a happy couple. One day, as Fugunya is selling toys in the streets, Ruab approaches her and starts to touch her inappropriately. Dashroth sees this and beats the man for the first time. His lower caste friends also join him. Scared for her husband's life, Fagunya stops him and runs home. She is furious at him for starting a fight with someone as powerful as the Mukia's son. Dashroth tries to reconcile with her, but she says she doesn't want to live with him anymore and walks away. Dashroth is determined to get her back, so he follows her to the village's waterfall. While talking, Fagunia reveals that she is pregnant. Dashroth dances in happiness, making Fagunia forgive him. But trouble waits for him at home, because Ruab has brought men to take revenge for his humiliation. When they do not find Dashroth, they kidnap his friend Jumru's wife. The following day, her dead body is found floating in a pond. Devastated at his wife's death, Jumru brings her to his hut and lights the entire house on fire. Nine months later, Fagunia is collecting water from the pond when she accidentally falls into it. The women around her keep her in the water when they realize she is going into labor. Fagunia gives birth to a boy in the pond. Only a year later, she gets pregnant again. This time, Dashroth wishes that he has a daughter. To earn for his family, he goes to the nearest village. Meanwhile, at home, Fagunia does household work in addition to taking care of her son and herself. She carries pots of water through the hills every day. One day, while doing the same, she slips and falls off the hill while still pregnant. When Dashroth reaches her, she is covered in blood but still alive. She breathlessly says that the hill was too tall so she couldn't walk. Dashroth and his friend carry her to the other side of the hill to get to the hospital. However, she loses a lot of blood on the way. At the hospital, she gives birth to a girl and passes away. Dashroth is devastated after losing his beloved wife. He blames the hill for her death and swears to build a road through it. Starting that day, he comes to the hill every day and hammers it. His only tools are a hammer and a chisel. On his second day of hammering, a politician arrives in the town to talk to the Mukia. They bring along a journalist named Alak Ja. All of them make fun of Dashroth for trying to do the impossible but Alok thinks his story is interesting. Two years have passed since the incident. It is now 1962, and Dashroth has still not given up. He walks to the hills every single day and hammers it. His father tries to convince him to stay home. While Dashroth is at work, the old man takes care of the children. The villagers make fun of Dashroth, but it does no harm to his spirit. He greets the mountain and talks to it like a friend. He mocks it for thinking he won't return every day. Five years after starting, in 1965, Dashroth has grown his hair and a beard, but he hasn't stopped hammering the mountain. He has made some slight changes, but a roadway across the hill still seems impossible. While hammering one day, he falls off a cliff and belittles the object for pushing him away. When he returns home that day, his father yet again asks him to stop trying to do the impossible and get a job somewhere. Tired of his scoldings, Dashroth decides to not return home the next day. He builds a makeshift hut on the hills and calls it home. When the journalist Alok returns to the village after five years, he finds Dashroth still trying to break the mountain. He visits the laughing stock of the town and asks him for his motive. Dashroth sarcastically says that he is building the Taj Mahal. Alok promises to print his name in the newspaper once he creates the pathway. It has now been six years since he started to hammer. He has made significant progress as now the climb to the other side is almost one hour less. The villagers thank him and claim that they will name the road after him. His daughter, Raj Kumari, brings him food every day. However, his father has had enough of raising the children for him. He leaves both Raj Kumari and Bajarath on the hill with Dashrath and returns home. Dashroth has no way to feed his children, so he starts to carry people's luggage across the mountain for money. A few months later, a drought hits the village. All the villagers move to a different city, including Dashroth's father and his children, but Dashroth stays put in his decision. He works all day in the scorching heat with no water. After some days, the heat gets the best of him, so he goes to the village's well, but finds it empty. He licks the plant on the well's wall and keeps himself alive. 
After spending the night inside the same well, he continues working. The next day, he accidentally drops into a pit on the hills and finds a tiny reserve of water. He drinks it and thanks the hill for saving his life. Similarly, while working, one day he is bitten by a snake. With no way out, Dashrath cuts off his toe where he had been bitten and falls unconscious. When he wakes up, it starts to rain and the drought has passed. Soon after, people return to the village and Dashrath reunites with his family. His father apologizes for calling him a lunatic after seeing the progress he has made. One night, the Mukia is attacked by leftist protesters. He is hanged in front of the entire village, but the ensuing shootout causes Dashroth's father to die. Following that, Alok comes to the village to report the event and takes a picture of Dashroth for his newspaper. It has now been 12 years since he started. When the election is approaching, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi comes to a nearby town to give a speech. He asks her to help him build the road, but she only takes a picture with him. Because of the publicity, the new leader of the village, Ruab, uses Dashroth to appeal for 25 lakhs rupees to build the road. He has no intention of helping him and wants to keep the money for himself. On visiting the section office with Alok, Dashroth finds out about the matter. He goes to Ruab asking for the money only to be made fun of. In a fit of rage, he decides to go to Delhi to talk to the Prime Minister and ask for his money. However, he cannot afford a train ride. When he is thrown out of the train, he decides to walk more than a thousand kilometers to Delhi. After struggling for almost a month, he reaches Delhi and tries to meet the Prime Minister. But he has to reluctantly return home when a policeman threatens to throw him in prison. He is back in the hills again. But this time, he isn't alone. Inspired by his spirit, several villagers have joined hands to hammer the hills and create the path. However, seeing that he is influencing people, Ruab makes some corrupt policemen arrest him for tampering with the government's property. After he is imprisoned, he loses all hope, but the people he has inspired protest for his bail. When he is released, he expresses his gratitude to the crowd that has gathered for him. Following his release, he and the people soon complete breaking the hills enough to create a 360-foot-long, 25-foot-deep, and 30-foot wide path. After 22 years of work, he has finally fulfilled the promise he had made the day Fagunia died. The movie ends as the villagers dance and celebrate the making of the brand new path. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.